Hello guys and welcome back. Welcome to the first episode. First episode of me actually talking and saying things. <laughs> it, it feels a bit weird talking for myself and with my own thoughts. So please endure, please please bear with me and stuff like that. So yeah, so on this episode or this one, I was thinking about something now in the week and because this week marks me being three years of streaming so when i stream i'll probably stream later today it's a tuesday so i'll probably stream later today and with me streaming today it will be three years it will mark three years since i started my streaming journey like to those people that don't know i started in 2020 right it's 2023 today now and i started in 2020 i started on mixer i don't know same as theed do you guys that know theed i started on mixer first but that was basically because i started off with a with the xbox and stuff like that and it was just easier to connect to mixer with your xbox because the xbox and microsoft would just work well together Started off on Mixer, started, then I multi streamed to YouTube and Twitch at the same time. And then, yeah, and now I'm solely on Twitch. I don't really stream to YouTube and stuff anymore. Need to post more videos there though, but that's another story <laughs> that needs to happen. So while I was checking and I'm looking back on three years of streaming, I was like, it's sad to say and it's, it is sad to think when the people who were here when I started or the people that were streaming when I started streaming, most of them aren't streaming anymore. I mean, a lot of them aren't streaming anymore. You talk, um, I'm talking about people like Zayn Zeday, talking that Nomad Chad, he switched from long form content to short content and his short content on YouTube is really amazing. So you guys should really check him out. And Hein, Heinrich, he started taking breaks and then the breaks just got longer and longer. T do streams you three you stream every single day <laughs> and now T do only streams like maybe once or twice a week, maybe sometimes. But but then again T does the podcast where you can keep in touch with him and stuff like that during the week, which is really dope. And then like a lot of the other people that all started don't stream anymore. And that made me think like what a challenge it was, what a challenge it is, like, to get into streaming, like, everybody thinks, especially during the COVID time, everybody thought, hey, streaming is an easy way to, like, get money and get into it, and you're gonna make money, you're gonna, you're gonna become this content creator and influencer and stuff like that, to be honest, like, I really don't like the term to be like given to us as like oh you're an influencer and some content creator yes that that's fine you create content but like the influencer part like a lot of times it, it gives me like a oh like a stab <laughs> like you influencing people's lives you know type of thing and like thinking about it like how we started like three years ago and we're streaming is now and how many people have disappeared and stuff like that and some people take longer breaks and people take more regular breaks and then coming back and then they don't come back and then you see them stopping and stuff like that. and it's amazing to think like how we've carried on like how some of us have carried on how have i made it to three years and stuff like that and, I was, and it's not that i'm a big streamer at all and stuff like that it's as many that like it's a mental battle every day you stream it's a mental battle i remember like i said when i started on when i was streaming on youtube and stuff like that it was during covid and you're at home and you're streaming for like five six hours and you would end the stream and you'd be mentally drained you wouldn't want to do anything you'd just sit there i would just sit there or take a walk outside and stuff like that and you'd be mentally mentally drained it's a lot it takes a lot and obviously a lot of it takes a lot it takes a toll on you the more regularly you do it that's why i'm amazed that like someone like z like z3po or z who's doing uh, daily streaks it's like 170 something days it's a mental battle for her to keep going like every single day it's it's insane 
it's insane and hats off to her for doing what she's doing and it's amazing like and that's why a lot of people also stop because you go you you start off and we had this you get this hype of gaining followers very quickly you're getting a lot of people in your channel a lot of views and it creates this false sense of oh yeah this is this is right for me and then eventually six months down the line the numbers start dropping and your viewers stop dropping and then people eventually start leaving and you're only left with like your core group of people that were actually there and it sucks man because because that takes the toll on you you take it all you, you i mean you think oh i've done all these things for these people to be in my stream and i'm only getting like one or two viewers hey i've done this thing and no one notices that i changed this oh i've changed the game i'm playing because you're tired of playing the same game change the game and people come in they request the old game that you are playing and like but i don't want that like and a lot of time people watching streams and stuff like that you you feel or people feel like hey they they in control the streamer i remember that's that's how it was like on youtube and stuff like that not as much on twitch but like on youtube like if you playing a different game to what the people would normally see you play they'd come in and, and like demand <laughs> demand like can we play this why are you playing this you know like like you are there f you are giving them entertainment like they are they are there for you are there for them instead of um like in the truth side it's more a matter of the community is there for you you know type of thing like they're there to see you as the person and to chill with you or hang out with you as a person whereas on youtube it's more you are you are the person giving them entertainment you know like they want this entertainment from you and i think that was like the hardest thing that's like the hardest mental path and that's why i still have very not a negative i don't want to say a negative um look at youtube like live stream and stuff like that but i don't like the youtube culture the youtube atmosphere it's 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 very uncool and that's why i always i'm, I'm always very very cautious or very stop stopish <laughs> stop stopish <laughs> when i want to do like youtube stuff and like go into the youtube thing yeah because like i mean i'm not a huge streamer and i like started on twitch in and only took started taking twitch seriously like in march i think and it took me like eight months to get twitch affiliate eight months of streaming on twitch to get twitch affiliate and this is where like the mental thing comes because a lot of people when they first start on twitch they they like try to hit twitch affiliate within like the first two weeks and then like oh yeah we're gonna make money and then you you think getting your followers stuff like that whereas i had to build the community first i remember i only got i had like by the time i got twitch affiliate i had 150 followers and i was still averaging like two two viewers a stream or something like that so at the hours i had the follower number but i had the streams i just didn't have like the um the average viewers and it was very weird because i was like i was just why is this happening what am i doing wrong you know and i just kept kept grinding kept grinding and i think that's the thing like a lot of us or the type of situations we are in now your mental capacity to just keep slugging at it every day or just keep going is it it's not not how it was like before and we always think like oh what we what can we get now what can we we want this satisfaction now whereas we think we put so much time into something and it's not getting appreciated oh we want to end it oh this isn't worth it at the end of the day and it sucks man and it sucks to see like so many great content creators and so many great streamers and stuff like that being having to stop because of they're not getting the viewers they're not getting the people and the following they they deserve or the following they used to get and stuff like that and that's why if you look at someone like thunderbird gaming who wanted to quit so many times <laughs> wanted to quit so many times but yet every every other day you'll still see him saying hey he's going live and he'll still grind and 
I mean, he went from mobile to switching to computer. You know, I remember his first couple streams with his mobile phone, and you would see the monitor in the corner of the of the thing. And it's amazing, like, and he would ask every like I remember he asked last year, like, hey, he wants to should he stop and so things aren't getting things are going as easy like his goals are not being met from what he said and it's stuff like that that makes you think like yo how how privileged you are like us like us now living in korea and stuff like that we're a small thing like having electricity every day it can change your life i mean in a country like south africa where there's load shedding you don't have power for like eight hours a day you can't really make a living from something that needs the internet you know what i'm saying or something that needs power so you're not able to have that type of living and it sucks it sucks that you're seeing so many things that are out of people's um so many things that are out of people's control affecting the ability to do and create great things great things and great great content going ahead and it's this mental battle that we have to deal with all the time i mean a lot of times we think oh a lot of people think hey it's 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 easy to do something but there's a mental battle that we put up with every day i mean you go live and you're like oh is is there gonna be anybody in stream and you talk to maybe one your one viewer for like three hours and something like that. and because other people have load shedding and they can't come to your streams because they have load shedding and it's it's a mental battle we face every day and i feel it's a mental battle we face like in life every day if you want to do something we all have this mental is this the right we all have this fear of is this the right thing to do is this is this going to give us reward now are we going to be happy doing this is this something we want to do and and that's the the strongest thing because a lot of people you see a lot of people fighting mental situations a lot of people we don't know we don't know what they're really going through and a lot of us assume that people are just chill people are okay people are happy but deep down they're having like the serious mental fighting and stuff like that and yeah so this is about checking up on those people realize that that there's there's a lot of stuff people go through that we don't know about that that we don't think we don't ask so if you are worried about people or you are worried about someone check up on that person check up on that person and look for that person see if they're okay see how things are going and appreciate the people that you have near to you that you don't always check up on you might not talk to your friends every day but check up on them every now and then and see are they okay because the mental battles are the stuff we don't know about and why this got me like thinking was when we saw that thing about twitch someone like twitch who was twitch the dancer who was on ellen show and stuff someone like him was someone who was a content creator posting a lot of happy moments sharing happy moments on his socials like everything was always happy about him he has such a warm look such a warm outlook on life and then he may have to take his life and stuff like that it's it, it, it shocks you it shocks you i mean i also lost someone now one of my cousins recently who also passed away also someone but just passed away with, with we don't know what happened but it was a awesome outlook on life was always happy someone was always happy someone always had a good influence someone always willing to share good advice like you never thought that these people would have bigger demons inside and stuff like that so we hope that's not gonna happen we hope that doesn't happen to us but sometimes there are things that could trigger these things and i think just looking out or trying to touch someone or trying to speak to someone could help them and stuff like that so look out for your friends guys and that's what this is about this episode was about um the mental state the mental state how our mental states have to adjust to kind of situations and how sometimes it's not easy being strong it's not easy being strong mentally some of us are some of us we grind out we've learned from a young age don't give up grind out but 
there are times you feel mentally weak, mentally tired, and it's good to take breaks from that. It's good to reset, go out, take your breaks, chill, come back, not come back stronger, but come back a bit better, come back more relaxed and realize that that things don't have to be that tough for you. You can make things a bit easy for yourself. If you don't want to do something, you don't have to do it. If you don't want to, um, if you don't want to stream a certain game anymore, you want to change games all the time. You want to find that you can do that. We we live in an age now where if we're not happy with something, we can look after ourselves, and that's the most important part. Look after yourselves first, guys, and also look after the people around you. Because those are the people that are the most important. So thank you guys. Thank you guys for listening. And as I said, I hope to keep these up a bit more regularly. But yeah. I hope you guys keep well. I hope you guys keep well mentally. Look after the people around you. And look after yourself. That's the end of this message. Keep well guys. Goodbye.